Now I'm going to show you how to make custom imported sprites and custom backgrounds for Arcade, for the MakeCode Arcade system. We're going to do this using an import utility. Here's another example. This is using Story and we're making a game or a sort of a game story using imported images. I collect these images from Google and I'll show you how that works and then how to import them. So I start with a new tab and I start with photo to sprite. This is how you convert a photo into a sprite, which I'll show you how to then make a background. If you go to this website, or I'll show you, you can also have this on your desktop without being on the internet. Then you go to some search engine, like for example, this one, and I choose Juggler or I type that name in. Now I can go to images right here in the search engine and here are all the different images that you can choose one and import it into your arcade game. You can choose different kinds of images, clip art, silhouette, let's say a clown juggler. Now I can choose any one of these. Some of these are real pictures, like this one. Some of them are just cartoon pictures, like that one. But you can import any one of these. Let's just choose this one because um, it kind of fits with the one I've already got. So if I click on that, there's my image. I can right click and I can I can save the image as, and if I have a file folder on my desktop, like one I call PIX, right there, short for pictures, now I need to change this image to a PNG image in order to bring it in to Microsoft Arcade as a sprite. Let's just change it to something simple like J-U-G-G-L-E-R dot, well let's make it one dot PNG. That should convert it into a PNG image. Let's see if that works. I'm going to X out of this. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize this one. Here is my folder that says Pix, and there's the image, and it's a .png, which is what I need for my Kristen Pedersen conversion. I said I would show you how to have this offline. Here it is on my desktop as a file. Here is his utility he calls it if you click if i click on index there it is choose a file i'm going to give you links to all of these in the description but here's a case where we can choose a file we go to our desktop we can go back to this hix folder here. Choose that file. Now, this is imported into the Pedersen utility that changes a photo or a cartoon image that we collect from the internet, from Google or any search engine, 
and it will change that if you designate it as a PNG file into a sprite. And I'm going to show you how you can then make it a background scene, either a sprite or a background scene. Now, this is going to have to go into the JavaScript tab on our Make Code Arcade game. I'm going to change the name of the sprite from my sprite to my sprite juggler because I want to have it available in the game separate from the other sprites. What I just did here, you will learn, is made a new variable. In computer science, we have variables, and I changed my sprite variable to my sprite juggler variable, and I said in the text, make that equal to the image below this image here. So my sprite juggler is going to look like this image. Now this image is pretty big. 160 by 106. I can make the image smaller by clicking that and it just made it a lot smaller. It made it 90 by 60. Let's try that and see. That's pretty big for a sprite, but let's try it and see what it looks like in on the screen. I'm hitting copy code. There it is. Now it's on my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to my Make Code Arcade. Notice that I've got a sprite already called Clown. There he is. But now I'm going to import a new sprite, which I'm calling Juggler. I said that we need to go to JavaScript. Here we are, JavaScript. I'm going to hit the Enter button to push this code down the enter button three times, put the cursor anywhere above the text, and I'm going to hit control C T R L on my um, keyboard, and I'm going to hold that down while I hit the V, capital V as in victory. That just imported my new variable called Sprite Juggler, and I do not see any error messages, which is good. If you get an error message, then you have to sort out why you got an error. But I got no error message with my method of importing this image. I'm going to go back to blocks and see what that looks like. Now we've got something called My Sprite Juggler, and it's probably going to show up in the middle. Yeah, there it is right there. It's pretty big, like I said. Suppose we want to make this a, from a sprite into background. I'm just going to give you an idea of what, how to do that so that you can do both with your image, background or sprite. What I'm going to do now is click on Scene, and I'm going to click on Set Background Image 2. I'm going to pull the old background image out, and I also pull the story. See story right here? That is an extension that is under Extensions here. You can click on the story extension. It's pretty new. I think this is by Rick Knoll. It's in the extensions of Arcade now, Story. That's what gives you that text, and you can also choose um, Set Text Code Enable True, and that way you'll hear the little typewriter sounds when the text is typing. Now I'm going to pull this up here. I'm going to pull this clown image down here. See how easy that is? I can even delete that. I still have my clown, but that's now my image. I can move my print up here. This is 
with my story then. I took the tent away. I could put it back. But I took it away, and I made my clown an image. So I hit the A button. There's the clown. Let's suppose we want to change this so we don't have the white background. How do you do that? If I click on the image, it should go, take me to the editor of the image. If I hit erase, I can erase something like that pink dot. It becomes clear. That's what this is. If I want to make it white, I would choose that and then go back and paint over it white. What if I want to make a white background into clear so you can't see any background? You can do the transparent and then I can hit fill and then I can hit that and all of the background goes from white to transparent. I can now make these balls that he's juggling darker. I leave that as fill what happens. Because that changes the ball darker. Darker blue. Darker, let's say, pink. Got a lot of balls in the air. I'm going to make that one ball, the red ball, more round. There's different ways of doing this. That's one way. Making it more round. Let's suppose I want to add another ball. Let's add a ball that's brown. I just click the circle. Uh, let's put that ball right about here. And I'll click fill with brown. There's my brown ball. That background block in first. I'm going to call this sec, uh, Circus Story 2. And click Save. It's going to save as a PNG picture. Show in folder. And right there is where it was saved in my folder as a PNG picture. I could download this now if I want to. 